So this is Bear and Lilacs back with a review that's been a long time coming. Yeah. Uh, this is a wireless charging pad from a company called Cafli. We think that's how you pronounce it. it. Oh yeah, because let's be honest, it is all in Chinese. I bought them on AliExpress. There will be a link in the doobly doo. We will say anything that is from AliExpress is may not be the true name or anything like that. It's just a copycat. So, but saying that, to my knowledge, there is a company called uh, Cafli. They have a web YouTube web page that will be linked in below, and they do advertise this sort of technology on their YouTube. They haven't got this model on their page. So whether this is new, whether they don't exist anymore, whether this is old stock, someone's just recycling. But it came, it came today literally in a jiffy bag or like a plastic bag. Oh, well, we ordered two, so we had two together. We've opened the other one and we're just gonna open this one. Yeah. The box, I've got to admit, is a well-built thing. You're gonna have to hold it, cause I can't. <laughs> this one was tighter than the other one. As you can see, they are well packaged in there. They're not coming out for the life of them. <laughs> <laughs> gonna have to. I can't. I think the the final straw in this is just a rip. <laughs> the uh, the box is cardboard, admittedly, and foam. Yep. So it's foam on the outside around it, which is foam here and around. You get a. USB to USC connector. USB A to USB C. USB A then to USB C connector. And this is the charging pad itself. So, as you can see, ooh, you need to. Uh, it's focusing there. Is USB C. It's got a lovely button on the top. It's got that brand in the middle. It's got a groove for the phone, the front if you look, which is nice. Turn it over, from my knowledge it hasn't got a fan, so I'm not too sure how well it does as a fast charger or how long it will last. But apparently they do fast, the wireless fast charging supported by everything basically from the Samsung like, um, does it say on here? Uh, it's basically it's got a wireless output of five volts with one amp, five volts with one point five amps, and then nine volts with one point one amp. It's said it was Samsung fast charging compatible. Um, from the little test we had with the other one, I'd say it is compared to some of the other chargers. Like the chargers I've used. So. This is a button release, so as I've just done, you literally, and it pops up. The one good thing about this is that you can have it in landscape, because that's the landscape, but you can also pull it up to put it in portrait mode. And Push the, it back down, it is quite hard, it's very resistant to go down. Yeah, it's stiff, it is it's, not. But it does go down and it will click into place, so... Your weight of your phone, no matter how heavy you think your phone might be, is not pushing that no. button back down. Um, so. And the landscape mode, uh, uh, portrait mode, the head's adjustable, so it comes up. So no matter where your wireless connector is in your phone, you're going to need to adjust this to support your phone. So you'll always make that contact, which is a nice feature. It's not just a stationary feature. Right. Um, I don't need to. I was going to show you with a phone on, but every roughly gets the idea. Um, it's got a USB, it's got a bleh, LED light. Yep. So when you plug it in, I'm going to turn it to the side so you can see this. It will flash blue. So when you put your phone on, it will flash blue. It will go solid blue when it's fully charged. So we can probably start that. Yeah. Does it go solid blue? It did. So my phone needs charging. And then that's it, charging away. And I presume it sits solid blue, yeah? I think so. It was sitting solid blue a minute ago. So mine is 
94% so it will charge until it hits the light for and then sit yeah. solid blue and then it should sit solid blue it does sometimes take the solid blue off but earlier on it was still solid blue when I took it off that'll be just part of its smart overcharging yeah. thing so it doesn't always send your power constantly the blue LED isn't that bright we've mm. had wireless chargers where the blue LED lit up all red all red has lit up our entire bedroom which doesn't work for us because we are overnight chargers yeah so I'll we'll put the phone down, leave it overnight, leave it on charge. Don't want to light, like lighting up our entire room more time to sleep. We don't even have the notification lights on our phone at the top go off because they light up pretty strongly as well. So we don't have that on. Well, um, I think that's our little review. Yeah, we're so. re we're really impressed with this. Um, they are cheap. I mean, these are fifteen pounds, so less than twenty quid normally. So that's cheap, but that included posting and shipping and all the rest of it. Um, they were cheap. I got zero in the build quality is nice. Um, we'll give a little update. Yeah, because we've had one that was like a false leather and it wasn't that great. We had fake Samsung ones yeah. basically. The fake Samsung ones blew up. So we'll probably give either a comment review or a video review later on, probably after two weeks or maybe even a month. Just to say that they're still working, they're still doing their job. Yeah. So look out for that, guys, and we'll see you next time. Thank Bye. You.